Sunday Rose is starting to drive soon. Who would be a better driver's ed teacher, you or Nicole? Me. More patient? Yeah. Yeah. You scared? No. Not really. I mean, I'm. Yeah, stuff's going to happen. Hopefully, if they go slow enough. I was. I was going. I, someone said to me, Tom, if you go, if you go slow, small things happen. If you go fast, big things happen. <laughs> okay, that's went, fair. Right, that's about as simple as it gets, but it's very true. Uh, tell me the story uh, behind "Messed Up as Me." Well, a <laughs> uh, song about um, being in a relationship that maybe. Uh, only has one good aspect to it. All the rest is completely toxic and dysfunctional. But this one area is fan freaking tactic. <laughs> okay. And so you put up with all the rest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> is there a, like a lyric in the song that hits you the most that you relate to? Oh, m- all of it. <laughs> when I get blue, I get dark blue. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, there's so many, uh, so many relatable lyrics in this song. Are you constantly... Thinking about and working on new songs, like, or do you have like seasons of creativity? Bit of both, I think. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, ideas come a lot, um, and I sort of, I think of them as like fireflies, and you just put them in a jar, and then when you go to write a song, like open up the jar and use that firefly to spark the song, and off we go. What a great way to put it, man. Yeah. Usually, like, when I think of radio bits, I just write them in notepad. Right, there you I, go. I had never pictured a jar that I can, that's a very great oh, way They're like little it. inspirations that, yeah. that, that were natural when they came. And maybe when you go to write a song, inspiration shows up that day. Maybe it doesn't. And if, if it doesn't, it's kind of nice to have some in a jar. Let me ask you, where is <laughs> the craziest place inspiration has popped into your head? Oh, the shower, always. Okay. It's always the shower. For everything, every idea, my show ideas, um, Everything, guitar ideas, song ideas, lyric, er, everything. So it's safe to say, like, a, a Keith Urban written song was written in the nude. That's uh, very possible. <laughs> so sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> Can't unsee that. Tell me your best and your worst days in country music. Oh, my gosh. My best and worst days? That's such a specific question, isn't it? I mean, I think I try to forget the worst days. <laughs> What's one of your worst days? Give me an example of that. Okay. Uh, one of my worst days is uh, in radio, I guess, coming in and doing a great show and okay. then getting out of the studio and the boss saying, hey, you got a second? And then they bring you upstairs and you get axed, budget cuts, going in a different direction. Comes out of nowhere. My wife was pregnant. Yeah. Uh, so I didn't really know what was I was going to do next. Wow. My best day will be right now. Oh, man. <laughs> Come on, Evan. <laughs> <laughs> we got me one. That's funny. Me too, Evan. This oh, is this, you, it's the highlight of my day right thank here. You, man. Thank you, man. I will tell you my, probably my, one of my worst days, uh, and it's, it's all relative, isn't it, right? It's yeah. always relative, but. When I was doing my radio tour, when I got started as an artist, and you do the radio, for all your listeners, you do the radio tour, you get around and introduce yourself to all the radio stations, it can be quite grueling because no one knows who you are, no one cares who you are, uh, and you're just schlepping yourself around the country with your promoter from the label, going to so many radio stations. And we got to this station, um, let's just say somewhere else, wasn't here, um, and I got my acoustic guitar with me and we walk into the station and uh, the promo guy takes me in and um, we meet the manager and the manager of the station says, oh, just go into the conference room and get your guitar out and get ready and we'll, we'll have everybody come in. So I go in there, open the door and there's a meeting going on in the conference room. So I quickly shut the door, I go back and I say to the station manager, oh, they, there's a meeting going on in there. He says, just give it a second. He goes, oh, you, you, you're good. They just, just, just slip in there quietly and get your guitar out, and it'll be all cool. So I'm like, oh, okay, you know, so I, I get in there, I open the door, I go in, I go to the corner of this room, I'm lifting my guitar case, and one of the guys at the meeting, there's must have been eight people in there, he goes, um, can we help you? Hello? <laughs> and I was like, oh, I'm just, just, just getting my guitar out. He goes, we're having a meeting here. And I went red, just so... <laughs> Embarrassing, really. So I walk back out, and I'm saying to the man, I'm, I'm like, just give my, let's just get the hell out of here, man. I was so humiliated, and so right at that point, I'm like, let's get the hell out of here. The station manager goes, oh, let me take you in there. 
He takes me in there like it's like like your dad walking in, <laughs> opens the door, says to everybody, "Hey guys, just a second. This is a new artist. He's just gonna set his guitar up and he's gonna sing a few songs." And they go, "Fine, <laughs> fine." And this is gonna be my audience that I'm gonna play to. And I have to set my guitar up and play to these exact people sitting their arms crossed, just sort of huffing and puffing. And they bring in some pizza. And that's how I started the whole, it was like, I just wanted to get out of there. I don't and it, you. It, it went fine, but it's it just, it, there were so many of those things where they could care less. Man. Yeah. It's grueling. What's different and what's the same in this project that's coming up from Keith Urban? That's a good question. Uh, well, this album actually started as a different album um, probably just over two years ago. Um, <clears throat> it was time to, to do a record and, and I had a very fixed idea of what I should do to um, have framework to work within because I can create in so many directions sometimes it gets a bit overwhelming for me and, and trying to piece it together in something that has focus and, and direction can be difficult for me. And so I thought, well, I'll start with a framework of not so much a theme, but it's only I'm going to work between this and that piece of framework and everything will be within those two areas. This is going to really help me stay on track. And I finished a whole album like that in February 23, uh, only to realize it's this, uh, it's just, this isn't, it's not finished. It was like 13 songs on there. And I could just tell I came in and played it for my team. And I could feel the, the vibe in the room. I just I could feel it in myself. And I, I just I just sat there and I went, it's not it, is it? And they're like, Well, you tell me. And I went, No, it's not. You know, and my team's amazing. They don't they don't BS. Yeah, but that's good on you for being humble enough to be at this point in your career to realize that. I could feel it. Yeah. I was, I was 98% in and you gotta be, I gotta be a hundred percent. If you scroll through like the comments on straight line on YouTube, mm -hmm. a lot of people are saying it's bringing them back to like a classic Keith, Keith Urban sound. Uh -huh. Is that what you meant to do? Is that what this project is going to sound like? I think between straight line and uh, particularly messed up as me, mess, messed up as me is a whole other thing again. Um, that was sort of intentional to show that there is, to your point, you know, elements that are familiar and then a lot of elements that are, that are new blended together. Getting that blend is always the challenge for me. Are there going to be any collaborations coming up? There's one duet on the record, uh, which is going to come out later this year that I'm super psyched about. It's been frustrating because we finished it in June last year. So I've been sitting on this thing. For, since then, <laughs> driving wow. me crazy, just really wanting to get it out. So there it is. No hints, other than they're human, right? They're human. Okay, it's so no very collaboration human. with an alien or anything. <laughs> no, okay. no, no AI. That's right. Oh, that counts. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you're yeah. Right. That, that doesn't. That's not what that means. Have you seen all of her movies? Um. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Which one's your favorite? What's yours? Days of Thunder. Oh, it's a good one. Yeah. That's a really good one. Yeah. That's a sexy doctor. It is. Hey, man, I wouldn't go get into it, man. You know, that's, I mean, I pause it during that scene and fast forward. I don't even watch it. You just like it for the cars. Come yeah, on, that's Yeah, man, right. come yeah, on. I hear you. Cold trickle. <laughs>